Hey everyone, Sarcastic Prophet here. So I'm back with another unscripted video where I'm just, uh, I want to start a new series where I go through and review mobile games. So, uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. So our first game of the week, I want to make it weekly, is Marvel Future Fight. In Marvel Future Fight, you play as three heroes out of their gigantic roster that they have. They have, and plus the roster has different costumes that turn them into other heroes, such as Dr. Octopus turning into the Superior Spider-Man, which I find really cool. So as you can see, the graphics are pretty good. It's really good for, uh, for a mobile game. And uh, the effects look pretty, and the controls are pretty good, honestly. It's the first game that I've played that plays... Uh, first game i played that plays like this on mobile, which is pretty good. So it starts off pretty smooth. You play as Thor and Black Panther and uh, Black Bolt as your tutorial stage. So you just fight some Ultron bots and some other villains. And then the story comes through. And I don't really understand the story, to be honest. I, I don't, I'm not playing for the story. I'm just playing play as my superheroes that I like. And, well, to have fun on a mobile game. But, um, so Netmarble make, made this game. And, uh... Yeah, they did okay. It's really not... I don't know. The game looks pretty, but lacks a lot of substance that you would find in other mobile games. Like, Temple Run is a very simple game. But you can play that for hours on end. And never, like... You could always have fun with it. But this game, I would play it, and I would find myself getting bored. And this is only in, like, the first day of playing it. So, uh... It's not a very good sign. So, um... I decided to play the game for an entire week and to see if the game changes within that week. So I'm going to be doing that for every single game that I review. And um, yeah, I'll let you know what happens. Throughout the week as I played the game, I realized that a lot of these bosses are super sponges. Like you cannot do no damage to them. And if you do, it takes forever. And it's just, it's boring. It's, it's, not, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. So as you can tell from what I'm showing right now, I've checked in for seven days, but there's many different uh, check-ins that you can do, which is pretty weird. And then there's the microtransactions that it just throws in your face. And I hate that it does the thing where it'll show it. And if you try to exit out, it'll be like, well, you won't get this deal again if you exit out of this window. And it's like, for real, you're going to use fear of, uh, what's it called? FOMO, fear of missing out tactics that I was talking about in... Um, uh, video on my second channel about microtransactions. That's a huge red flag So uh, the story got really tough and I had to um, Start playing other missions that weren't of the story because the story just I experienced a huge uh, difficulty jump that was just like Like come on I even paid for the starter pack and a few other things no more than $12 You know just to feed it a little bit and see if that would help out and no it does not help at all so one positive about the game that I can give it for sure is that this game rewards you every step of the way. You log in, it, it rewards you like this. I get a, I get to choose a six star premium character and I honestly really appreciate that. I like that. That's the reason why I wanted to come check this game out because I had a friend that was talking about it and they were talking about how they liked the rewarding system and yeah, it's, it's pretty solid and that's honestly that and the graphics of the game are like the only two solid things about this game because yeah well yeah spider-man 2099 but it's just like it's 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 hard dude and this is some of the worst ui that i've seen in a mobile game i mean modern uh modern what am i talking about mobile games are known for not having good uis which is why modern warfare 2 is trash talked because of its ui it looks like a mobile game and this is a pretty bad example. It's really, really bad. I, I remember um, my first day, I had no idea what I was supposed to do. I was checking in everything. There's like, oh my God, it's a whole mess. You could see the menu in some of my footage. And it's just, it's, it's not cool. It is, it's not cool. So here I decided to pick uh, Captain Marble to uh, level her up. So I could put some more character shards in her character level. See, but that's what I'm talking about. The UI, it's horrible. Anyway, 
here I am uh, checking out my new character, my 2099, and I'm uh, about to upgrade Captain Marvel, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do in the clip. Maybe not, but I am showing off. This is my main team right here. The Punisher, Captain Marvel, and uh, oh my God, I, forgot, I can't think of it. Kate Bishop, Hawkeye. It really, it says her name right there. How did I forget? But um, yeah, this team may not even be good because uh, I don't know. I, I I constantly feel like I'm doing something wrong in this game. I constantly feel like am I not upgrading enough? I, I put so many shards and artifacts and upgraded their gear, and I just feel like I'm getting nowhere. I feel like I'm getting nowhere. That's what it feels like. I'm upgrading, I'm upgrading, I'm getting all this stuff, but I'm still stuck in the same story chapter. It's just, it, it feels like I'm going insane or something. It's just, it's stupid. Like, watch. This is a perfect example. This is a story mission I think I pressed on, and I just instantly get destroyed. Punisher's already at half health from two hits. Captain Marvel gets destroyed. My whole team gets wiped out. It's like, look at this. It's just, are you serious? Instead of like the game telling you, oh, this is why you failed and you should probably upgrade your character in this way, or maybe you should try doing that or this or this, it doesn't tell you anything. Watch. Look at, watch the screen that pops up when I lose. Look at that. Too difficult. Do all these things, it shows, and it doesn't do anything. It, like, come on, it tells me what to do, but I don't know how to get there. So it's like, what? I must just look up a guide, a, a YouTube video. I, I don't really want to, and I want to play with these characters. I don't want to play with some other characters. So right here, I am doing another mission. Uh, I'm redoing an older mission in a harder difficulty, which is seems like the way to go. You get better stuff, better coin, and it feels good to win. So overall, the gameplay is okay, it can be kind of repetitive. The main appeal I think is just all the characters that the game has. You know, it has Captain Marvel, but then it has every, or not every, but a lot of iterations of Captain Marvel, the ones portrayed by Brie Larson and the comic book ones. Same thing with Captain America, they have every single Captain America outfit from the Marvel movies, which is pretty cool and a lot of people like the Marvel movies. I think they're okay, you know, some of them, some of them are better than others. And uh, yeah, I don't know who the hell this Gorgon guy is, but look look how long it takes. I have to speed this up by like two times, I think. I sped it up twice. Like, and this is harder, and I was doing good right up until this point. But this boss, he's just too spongy. But I did it. So overall, the game gets uh, four out of 10, below average.